Hi guys and welcome to the next video. Today we're going to cover jogging the robot. Well, we covered uh, enabling the teach pendant and jogging the robot in the previous video, but today I'm going to tell you about what are the options for you to move the robot or jog the robot. So there are basically two main uh, ways to jog the robot. The first of them is jogging with uh, each of the axes. So those are co uh, called joint movements. And the second is jogging with robot frames. That we're going to cover in the next video uh, because it is a little bit more complicated. But that, that's just for you, for the information. So today we're starting with uh, jogging the robot with the joint movement. So what can I say? Let's get started. Okay. So after that being said, what do I mean by saying jogging uh, with the joint movements? So uh, as you know, robot is built out of usually out of six axes. And jogging with joint movements means nothing else but jogging axis by axis. Or you can also jog multiple axes at the same time, depending how many fingers you have free. So uh, First, let's talk about the robot axis. Uh, we have uh, six of them, usually. I'm not counting right now external axis because the robot can be mounted on a rail or it can have a servo motor at the end of the arm tooling, which is going to be also your axis, but that's something we're going to cover later. Uh, let's talk about the basic stuff. So there are usually six axes that you can uh, turn in a robot, axis one, Axis 2, Axis 3, Axis 4, Axis 5, and Axis 6, which is the last axis on the robot. And now, by uh, jogging the joints in a joint movement, with using the joint movement, means you will move axis by axis. Or, like I said, if you push more buttons, you can move multiple axes. So, uh, right now, uh, Imagine like your hand is the robot, right? So you can move axis by axis. It's going to be the same with the robot. You will move one by one. Or like I said, when you push two buttons at the same time, you can move two axes at the same time. So let's see how that works on FANUC. Okay, FANUC. So, First thing, what you need to do is to turn on your teach pendant and so on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at my last video because I'm going to fast forward that right now. So if you don't, don't know how to turn on the robot to be able to jog it, check out the video. All right. So after you turn on the robot, you selected the T1 mode and you have your deadman in your hand, your teach pendant in your hand. Enable your teach, teach pendant, hold the deadman switch and we are ready to go. If you're using the uh, offline software like RoboGuide, of course you don't need to do all of those steps, just remember to tune, turn on your teach pendant. And let's take a look at the example. So, first thing you do, you hit the chord button located on the teach pendant. It is located right here. And with that button, you're able to change between the robot coordinate systems. And the one we're talking about today is joint. Got it? Okay. So after you selected the joint, you will see the joint written at the top of the teach pendant. That's your operating system. Uh, that's your uh, jogging system. Now you need to adjust the speed of the movement. Make sure you don't start at 100% because you might hit something. So Start it slowly and then you can increase the speed when you know what you're doing. So let's decrease the speed. How do we do it? Take a look at the teach pendant. There are uh, two buttons with a percentage and they have kind of an arrow that is indicating that you're going down with the speed or up with the speed. So go down to 10, 25%. Okay. Now when you got it, we can try to move the robot. So 
Remember guys, I told you about in the previous video that in Fanuc, if you want to jog it, you need to hold the shift key, which is enabling the blue keys. Yes. Okay, so what do we do? If you are having the real robot, hold your dead man, or turn on your TT pendant first, hold your dead man, push the reset button, in RoboGuide, just enable the teach pendant, hit the reset button, and we're ready to go. So hold the shift button, and now on the right hand side of the teach pendant, you have all of those blue keys with X, Y, Z, and so on, and they also have small uh, captions saying J1, J2, and so on. So J is abbreviation for joint, joint one, two, joint six. So Try holding your shift button and while you're holding your sh shift button and the deadman switch, if you have the rear robot, try to push J1. Try to move J2. Try to move J3. And so on. Pretty simple. Right? Uh, I'm having the RoboGuide software. Uh, you have your real robots, you can move multiple axes at the same time. So you can push two buttons at the same time. And take a look what's happening to the robot. Because if you move more than one axis, it might happen that the robot is going to move a little bit slower. So for example, try to hitting, hitting axis one and axis six, for example, if you can, with uh, two fingers. See how the robot is moving. And play with it. Figure it out which way it's turning. Uh, if you hit the plus button, it is going left to, to the left or to the right, and so on and so on. This is the first way of jogging the robot. And is it commonly used? No. I'm pretty sure you will use more the other methods, uh, which I will talk about in the next video, which are using which is using the frames. But we'll get to that in the next video. For now, practice it, and after you do it, get comfortable with it, so you know that, that that's the first of the methods for jogging. I hope you like the video. If so, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.